Here's a live look at the world's busiest airport as thousands are flying out and returning home to Atlanta this rainy Friday afternoon. And at Hartsfield Jackson right now, they're preparing for the holiday travelers later on this month. City leaders are concerned about the number of homeless individuals seeking shelter there, especially as the months get colder. 11 Alive's Latasha Givens joins us live from City Hall with a city council resolution urging the airport to find new ways to address the issue. We're outside City Hall where council members say this resolution is all about supporting the unhoused population seeking shelter at the airport. They say it's important to make sure they are safe and have all the resources they need while also making sure travelers are safe too. The vote is closed. With six yeas, Atlanta City Council's Transportation Committee voted unanimously to adopt a resolution that urges Hartsfield Jackson International Airport Management to take more responsibility to help the unhoused population that often seek shelter at the airport. The reason this, this paper is necessary is because um, we're hearing reports that we have um, a homeless population that needs our help. At, they need our help at the airport in the atrium. The resolution states the domestic terminal due to its accessibility is the most impacted. One recommendation to manage the concern is to expand the areas of the airport that are restricted to ticket holders only or those assisting other travelers. Hartsville Jackson general manager says it already has initiatives in place, but it's open to more options. Well, we're very supportive of looking after and taking care of that population that does show up at the airport. And management says it will look at the legalities of the city's resolution to make sure it's lawful because of the federal funding the airport receives. Now, this resolution needs the approval of the full council to move forward, but they are urging airport management to come up with a plan within the next 30 days and not to spend more than $500,000 to do so. On our website, we have a response from the airport.